Alright ladies and gentlemen, so this is a video for all intents and purposes that I was actually planning on making because this is a subject that is very near and dear to me as it involves things like disabilities and all that stuff. And you know what? It's actually a really appropriate time to do a video like this because rather than having a opinion from one person, you're going to have an opinion slash response from two people and... It just so happens that the two of us have some experiences when it comes to disabilities, right? Yeah, I suffer from high functioning and autism my whole life, so yep. I take it seriously. And as someone who, since the age of four, has been diagnosed as well with high functioning autism, well, technically, I was diagnosed with Asperger's, which is on the autism spectrum, so either way, I'm high functioning. Um, and I'm just going to say this outright. Um, if you have to fake a disability for clout, you are scum. Like, straight up scum. And I'm not going to make any apologies for saying it like it is, okay? Like, if you think that there's any defense in faking a disability, well, here's the thing. You either need to get yourself seriously educated or you need to check yourself the hell out. Because if you think that shit is hilarious and you think it is defensible, I don't know what else to tell you. So, with that being said, we have ourselves an article on Dexerito that is going to be detailing this a little bit more, so let's get into it. So, the article that we made a reference to is titled, Moist Critical Slams Scummy TikTok Trend of Faking Conditions for Content. And I'm gonna just say right now, this man right here is the YouTube equivalent of Jesus. Charlie Moist Critical White called out TikTokers who fake health conditions for content. The popular YouTuber slammed the viral TikTok trend, calling it gross and and insulting. Although it originally made its debut in 2016, TikTok has become one of the most used apps in the world after exploding in popularity in 2020. The social media platform has become the creative grounds for many of the internet's biggest trends. Not everything on the site is healthy though, according to YouTuber Penguin Z Zero, also known as Moist Critical. The 27-year-old slammed a disturbing new trend where content creators are faking conditions such as Tourette's for fun. The popular YouTuber opened his rant with a critical take on the social media app. On TikTok, nothing is sacred, everything is clout. When a pet dies or even a family member dies, sometimes the TikTok creator will film themselves doing a little dance over their corpse, he said. White called out a new trend where users are faking health conditions. There is a lot of people on TikTok who fake all kinds of mental disorders for clout. By far the biggest target for these fake disorders is Tourette's. Everyone is pretending to have it, he continued. The YouTuber then showed examples of a TikTok user who had been faking the condition before being outed as a fraud. What makes this very scummy is the fact that they were using their fake Tourette's to drive exposure to their business, which is particularly evil. Moist Critical pointed out that while the user deleted their channel, other content creators faking health conditions are common. It's extremely common. Even right now, it's a very popular trend, and Tourette's is particularly the target that they choose. They do these wacky, quirky things like Tourette's is super turbo quirky. Look at this. White ended his rant by slamming those TikTokers for diminishing the real experiences of people who actually have the condition. It's really disrespectful and just genuinely fucking insulting. It's just fucking gross. It really is. So stop faking health conditions for TikTok likes and clout. And that right there is another reason why we consider Moist Critical the YouTube version of Jesus. Because he just says it to you straight and says it like it is. And I gotta say, honestly, like from a personal standpoint in regards to mental illnesses and him calling out this disgusting trend... That right there is an act of heroism, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? What, what do you think? I totally agree, 100%. Like, people who do that are fucking disgusting. Yeah. And I mean, like, the fact that it's extremely common and a popular trend, like, that just honestly, not only does it go to show how insanely fucked the trend is, like, when it, it we're talking about popularity, like... Why would you popularize something like that? Faking conditions, faking health uh, conditions and mental illnesses and stuff like that. Because it isn't just Tourette's that's being faked for likes and clout. But there's also history, and you can look it up yourself, 
people have made videos about this as well, but there have been conditions, or there have been trends, sorry, where people had, you know, mocked the likes of, of uh, autism, you know, with the whole autism challenge thing. Really, really pissed me off, personally speaking. Um, there was also the, um, the video that I think the quartering made where he called out a TikToker that faked having a, um, a disability that, uh, had bounded him to, uh, a wheelchair. It was a cerebral palsy, I believe it was. Uh, <laughs> I'm just thinking, it's like, if, if, if you think that this shit is worth consuming and worth creating, then, long story short... You need to seek help. You actually need to go and get yourself educated because, you know, mocking these type of things for likes and attention, not only does it show how shitty of a person you are, but it's actually very hurtful too because, you know, like, you think it's easy when it comes to people dealing with these type of things on a day-by-day -day basis? Like, people grew up, you know, being ostracized and mocked and treated differently for having illnesses of some kind, be it physical, mental, emotional, etc. Now, let me ask you a question. How would you feel if the shoes were on your feet? If you had a mental illness of some kind and it was becoming popular to mock said mental illness, how would you feel about that? I'm willing to bet you wouldn't feel too good about that now, would you? So, let me end things off by saying this. Treat people the way you wish to be treated. If you are going to pull this type of shit and mock people and mock mental illnesses that affect countless people, well then don't be surprised if you get a swift hit from karma in the near future and, you know, something uh, happens that, you know, it you take to heart. But here's the thing is that there ain't going to be pity on you because you're the one that thought it was a good idea in the first place to pull this type of shit. You know what I'm saying? And... I know I'm kind of going off on a bit of a tangent, going off on a bit of a rant, but it's, it's something I'm just really passionate about. I know, and let me say something for people that do do this. Please kindly go fuck yourself and get a life. Yeah, and get the hell off TikTok, too. Honestly, yes. uh, TikTok, aside from maybe Twitter, like especially 2021 Twitter, okay? okay. Like, Twitter 10 years ago was absolutely fine. It was tolerable, but... Twitter today has just become an absolute cesspool. But that is a discussion for a different day. But the thing is, is that TikTok is an extremely bad platform, and it's a big mistake. You know what I'm saying? And I know that there are some good TikTokers on there that, like, post, like, some really good wholesome stuff. But the thing is, and it's sad to say this, that type of stuff gets overshadowed by the degenerate bullshit that... We, we see that's that's more popularized and more publicized on the internet, you know, like uh, whether you are faking mental conditions, whether you are, you know, just doing things that you really shouldn't be doing, like that is not only scummy, but borderline dehumanizing as well. Like with you mocking mental illnesses and any type of illness, be it physical, mental, emotional, you're dehumanizing that type of individual that has to go through that sort of thing, you know, that's not cool. Like, <laughs> it shouldn't take rocket science to uh, to figure that one out, and it shouldn't take, you know, uh, anyone to, uh, to lecture you about it. Like, it should be common sense. But, you know the old saying, common sense is like a flower. It doesn't bloom in everyone's garden. Yeah, I totally agree. Yeah, so... Yeah, um, that's kind of like a bit of an uncut rant um, in this portion of the video. Uh, normally, I kind of uh, edit things a little bit more eloquently, uh, but this right here was just kind of, uh, you know, an off-the-cuff sort of thing that I guess just really sort of needed to happen. It just sort of came out as we got deeper into this. Yeah, it's totally offensive, and like I said, if you do this and you continue to do this, kindly go fuck yourself. Yeah. Just like... As someone who deals with mental issues on a daily, it's just like, yep. go get a life. Go get a life. Like, yeah, there's really not much else we can say that's either isn't already obvious or hasn't already been said. So we're going to end the video off right here. Um, I just want to say to all of you guys that are viewing this video, uh, thank you guys very much for watching this video. Um, and you support the message and you support, you know, what we're saying. 
we love you guys for it. Um, you know, it really, truly does mean a lot. And we have made these sort of things before, these sort of videos where I, I've opened up about my experiences with mental illness, like whether it was on this channel or like my Mega Crasher channel, if you guys are familiar with that. So it really, truly does mean a lot. Um, you know, for those of you guys that are uh, viewing this video and uh, understanding the message behind it. So, with that being said, thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you very much for your time and viewing this video as well. Have yourself a damn good one, and we'll see you guys in the next video.